beach with placement. Chair really made a tactical error by not getting to the net after he got that lob oh, over John's lob. head. Isn't this a super lob though from Machir? Just took the ball almost on the half volley and came up with a perfect lob. And then coming into the attack position. 40 love. to stay in that point. That lob was a good lesson, Tony. The Jeez. defensive lob. If you're out of position, and let's look how far McEnroe is out of position here. He's going to have to run right across court. No chance to do anything, so throw the ball up high and hope that it goes very deep. That one landed right on the line. Pressure on you. the racket watch the early preparation oh, on the yeah, racket yeah. now good half volley now watch John's racket he gets it ready holds it holds holds and then just bunts it right down the line if mature moves that way he could go the other way with it look at McEnroe's footwork though he comes back to the baseline see that big jump he did at the baseline like just as mature was about to hit the ball he jumped up in the air and then he was ready when he landed to run anyway The last two points, McEnroe and Machir. Two guys. Machir, look how much court he covered in this point. He gets it. Now look how quickly he recovers. He has such strong legs. Tim, you've seen a lot of athletes in your, in, you know, in your time in broadcasting that. He's got excellent balance, hasn't he, when he runs to the ball and recovers? He certainly does, and you know, we're saying that uh, McEnroe doesn't think he looks like a tennis player. He really looks like uh, a linebacker. With those big, uh, heavy legs and big calf muscles, but uh, he certainly is well-structured and well-balanced, as you point out. The best thing about his legs, we look at his picture there, look at the size of his thigh muscles. The calf muscles are, are, are solid, but the thigh muscles are so strong. That helps him with that recovery. And Shear thought McEnroe's shot was long, was over the baseline. I don't know where he's going. He's gone around to sit. <laughs> he's going to sit in the stand. He can get in trouble for leaving the court. Uh, he'll be You know, he has a, has a lovely, subtle sense of humor. He yeah, just put the ball down on the court at the baseline to show where, uh, you can see it, well, you can't in this shot, but he put the ball down where he said the ball came down out. And that was his uh, mild form of protest. A little uh, look at the linesman indicating to him that uh, he thought he made a mistake on it. It's 15 all. Look at McEnroe down the other end of the court. He here in that sense to uh, kind of win back some to his side. Oh! Crowds have been very fair here all week long. We don't know what to play anymore. We have no idea what to shot before. You've gone off ball. Oh! That ball was called a fault. John is saying, I think the serve was good. And he's saying, we just don't know what to play. Well, what I don't understand is he's, he's mad at the umpire, and it's the, the lines people who are making the calls. McEnroe over by the flowers for this next service return uh, and made cheers this trying to <laughs> whether he was talking to the seam or the, or the umpire well, he did say don't ever look at me so I don't think it was the seam <laughs> John's there easily Good 
Medchir made a mistake because he thought that ball was going to be good down the line. We'll have another look at it. Not a strong volley here. Now this one was going to go wide. He thought, well, if I get it in, I'm all set. Here's a look at John. Good racket preparation. Yes, all right. Now Machir stretched out there, recovers well, and this one I think was going to be wide. McEnroe has had five break points so far, but been unable to convert them. Won't get there. Boy, oh, that was marvelous volley because McEnroe really made a good attempt at the passing shot. Jeez. I really think that on this volley, Tony, he was a little bit fortunate. It was a very good passing shot from McEnroe. It was low and hard. And to pick it up that well, it's, it's a great volley, but... It... <laughs> Heck of a point. John's got to be saying, what do I have to do to win a point? 30-15. Well, what you got to do is run a lot. Look how much movement there is here. One side to the other, and you never know what's coming until he's actually hit the ball. That's what makes it so tough. You can't anticipate. You can't get a... We're complaining to keep Johnson... Is that Johnson. possible anymore? Are these guys in charge? Who's in charge? Oh, you? Point penalty against McEnroe for a code violation. The code violation was, was verbal abuse. There's going to be another one right here. To the linesman who's reporting it now over. It is linesman Jerry Lip apparently reporting the obscenities. And out comes the supervisor, Keith Johnson, to discuss matters. Macro's picking up his rackets. I'm not gonna play unless they take that away right now. I'm not playing the point. I'm not gonna play. I'd rather not play anymore. I really would. I, it's not worth it for me to. I don't have to play. Just take Stop. Oh, I don't, I don't want to play anymore. This, this guy, he shouldn't be on the, He's watching me over here. To what? He heard me say something over here to this guy. Well, then what was the first one? What was the first call? What, what happened? To, how, how did the first one get called? Say what? To what? Who did he see me say it to? I didn't even, I was warming over there. What, he saw me say something under my breath? Is that, that what, what, what did I say it to? He I wasn't even looking at him. No, I wasn't looking at him though. Oh, that's fine. That's fine with me. Now, I want to know where he got the first call. I don't see anything. I was under talking to myself. What's he watching me for? Is this his job to watch me? No, don't leave yet, okay? I want to get it clear where he got the first call. Okay? I was talking to myself. Now, where was he saying? What the hell is he looking for? It's not his job. What the hell is he doing on the court? I'm over here and he's looking at me. Let's play. Well, Keith Johnson out there trying to uh, keep McEnroe involved in the match. May cheer out a whack down there. Great get, great shot by Machir. This was a half volley 13, from an unbelievably tough position on the stretch with two hands. Be tough to get to this one with one hand and be on bounce.